you need to stop wallowing mm -hmm. you need to stop the complaining mm -hmm. you need to stop looking back at that mess mm -hmm. because that mess is not going to define you start looking forward and start planning and you know that that's what jesus has done for us mm. has agreed to take all our shame yes. has agreed to redeem us yes. has said yes i'll take them back even if they don't deserve it good morning good afternoon good evening <laughs> yeah, from where I come from, you yeah. don't greet your elders. Hi, Sasa, Made. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say Shkamo. Mm -hmm. It's always such a delight and a warm feeling right here in my heart to have the opportunity just to come onto your screens and have just enriching conversations as we look at the word of God and allow it to shape us and allow it to remodel our thinking and redefine our position in the journey of womanhood. And I pray that every single episode that has gone out has been able to encourage you, inspire you, and just to shift your focus back to God, that he is the one that has the manuscript for our life. He's the one who has everything that we need as a woman, everything that you need as a woman to become all that you are supposed to become, to become the best help, to become the best career person, to become the best person in your community, to become the best mother, to become the best wife, to become the best sister to just become everything that God has designed you to be. And to walk with me this journey is such an incredible woman, a woman that I love with every fiber of my being, a woman that has journeyed with me, a woman that has given me counsel, a woman that has prayed for me and has prayed with me and is always encouraging me all the way and is none other than Pastor Miriam. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, my friend, Helen. And we have been looking, we have been on a series and looking at the portrait of Naomi and the lessons that we can draw in. And we looked at, uh, in the beginning, the pain and the loss that Naomi went through. We looked at situations that a woman sometimes find themselves in, in the institution of family or marriage or relationship as they submit and as their leader leads them into uh, places or into spaces that are not full of wisdom. What is our position as women then when we find ourselves there? And we've just been learning very different things. We learned that our position, the, the greatest position that we can take is the place of intercession, just praying for the wisdom of God. And then after you have prayed, you go back to the manual, you go back to the greatest mirror that we have, that is the word of God, and get the wisdom to be able to shelter our families, to be able to shelter our relationship, to be able to shelter our homes so that we don't seem to be like we are fighting for the position of the priest mm -hmm. of the home, mm -hmm. but we become the help, the greatest help that God has designed us to be when when before we get to that kahol and we fall, all of us, you, your husband and your children, May God give you that wisdom so that you can be able to save your family before that happens. And from, if I can pick up from our last episode, I remember we ended up from a point where we saw Naomi seizing the moment. Mm. Naomi realizing after he, she had come back home, after she had come back to the place of praise, to the place of bread, when God began to feed her, to nourish her, her eyes opened up and she saw an opportunity and the moment when she needed to groom Ruth 
for the greater future mm -hmm. that turned around the story mm -hmm. that was a story of lamentation, a story of pain, a story of sorrow, a story of feeling woye became the greatest story that there has ever been. And so I just want us to pick up from where we left last yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Naomi saw an opportunity. Yeah. And Naomi seized the moment yes. to nurture this young girl mm -hmm. and to present her to Boaz. Yes. Take it up, Mama. Well, I am so many things are building up in my mind mm -hmm. about this moment mm -hmm. that Naomi saw and she ran for it. But you see, it's until she's back and has been fed with the bread and life has started flowing again. It's until she comes back to the place of praise, of worship, of realizing that God did not have bad intention mm. in whatever he has done prior, mm. that God was still working good plans. Mm. And uh, I am thinking at this moment, as we get into the election mode, because we are only, I think, two, three, four days away mm. to, our to the elections in our country, the real polling. And um, I'm seeing Naomi coming back with a foreigner and nurturing her and seeing that moment God has placed on her hands and creating every opportunity for this girl to go out there and come back with something they can put on the table as a way of training, as a way of mentoring, as a way of sharpening, as a way of presenting someone who is trained like Paul tells Timothy, that trained and ready for good works. Mm. And so it was for her benefit too. Like in our Mount Kenya region in Kenya, we have this saying that the good you do to others shall come back, back to you. you. Yeah. And it's like Naomi invested, became one of the best investors there could ever be. Because one of the things I'm just, just coming into my mind that lacks in our society is the mentoring of our young people mm. to have to gain skills that they can use to transform their lives. Mm. Mostly you will hear our leaders mm. saying that we have leaders for tomorrow. And the best they will do is dish out some cash mm. and tell them you're good to go. Mm. Come and cast your vote mm. and those kind of things. Mm. But we see Naomi, even though she had been devastated, mm. her coming back home and seeing a moment that she can change a life of a foreigner did not stop at oh. She's not one of us, though I came back with mm. her. That's like the transformation that Naomi now receives after coming back to Jerusalem mm. or to Bethlehem. is like the one that tells you all people are accepted by God through grace. Mm. And through grace, she's able now to send this girl out there and tells her what she's going to do, trains her. Like we saw in Titus chapter 2, oh, yeah. that there is that scripture where Paul writes to Titus mm. and emphasizes on the older man, mm. being a mirror that the younger man can look at, mm. and then continues to talk about the older women, mm. training the younger, mm. and then making them be able to take care of their husbands and also their children. Yes. Do you see that the responsibility that lies with the woman? Yes. The woman is to take care of the man mm. and also take care of the, the, the offspring, mm. the, the children. Mm. And so we we are seeing Naomi playing that role pretty well, like, like she would ensure. She, she saw no other opportunity for her to make a name for mm. or to maintain or sustain her husband's name. Mm. And she, that's why we are saying she seized the moment or the opportunity mm. because she knows very well that her husband Elimelech had a kinsman or had a close relative. Mm. And according to the scriptures in Deuteronomy 25, 25 yes. initially the Bible say that if you're married and you die, mm. a man dies, then the wife should be taken up by the brother. Mm. So those who practiced women inheritance, <laughs> inheritance. Maybe can, would say we are backing it up on this one. Mm. And so for, for, for Naomi, there was one 
relative mm. of her husband mm. who was told you you gonna take up mm. this widow of one of the sons and side. he he was told oh you know Naomi sold the land mm. now you need to redeem the land mm. buy it back mm. and he said oh yes i'll buy the land mm. but when he was told if they you're buying yeah. the land mm -hmm. you're also going to take the wife of that, the son yeah of the son a daughter in law mm. of of Naomi mm. and because you're gonna redeem the portions of inheritance mm. that were for Mahalon mm. and Kilion. Kilion and he said I can't mm. he was willing to buy the land mm. but not take the woman to mm. be his wife yes. now do you see maybe he had his own reasons mm. and then Boaz got this information mm. because it's like Boaz was second in line mm. but this other man they have not even given him a name mm. was like first in line mm. and he refused and you know culturally he was supposed to sit at the gate with the elders meet the elders the council of elders of of israel yes. and explain to them why, why he cannot take this woman mm. together with the land and mm. build a name for elimelech's line mm. and so he said no i can't mm. culturally he is supposed to remove a sandal mm. in deuteronomy 25 mm -hmm. the bible records that that woman who was supposed to be taken inherited, up, inherited mm -hmm. should come and spit on the face of the man mm. and then take one of his sandals from the feet mm. and then there will be a name written somewhere mm -hmm. that this is the man whose whose sandal has been taken off or mm. something like mm. that to it's like a sign of shame mm. a sign of refusing to give people opportunity mm. but we see and uh, I think all through, Naomi knew what he wanted. I mean, she wanted, she wanted. for Ruth. Yes. I could see. When, 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 I, uh, when I look back at the scripture, there was even at this point when it's like Naomi knew uh, Boaz at some point in the evening where he goes to relax as yes. he's taking wine as he's taking and he, he she instructed Ruth to go and lay mm -hmm. next to his feet mm -hmm. and do some few things mm -hmm. that were going to make Boaz recognize Ruth mm -hmm. so that must have been a woman who had a proper plan yeah and he she knew what she wanted for for her daughter-in-law. Yeah, and I'm at this point I'm reminded of the woman in Proverbs 31 mm. from verse that from verse 10 following. Mm. Yeah, that that virtuous woman. Mm. She plants her house. Yes. She plants her servants, mm. her maid servants. Mm. She knows where to buy land. She knows what to do. So Naomi has come back to Bethlehem. Mm. She has eaten the bread. She has her eyes open. She has praised God. She has stopped complaining. So by that wisdom of giving God his position, mm. now the wisdom of the Spirit is arousing her to see what needs to be done. Yes. And it's like she's already convinced, like those people of the Spirit, they'll tell you the Lord said. And I think she's already now conversant mm. with the mind of God. Mm. She's like she knows God has prepared Boaz, mm. not this other man. Mm. And so even as they are negotiating, mm. it is for protocol. It yeah. is for formality. She knows where her heart would want Ruth to fall. And even when she's saying, go green, go glean there. Mm. She I'm could have belly. told her, go glean, there's another relative of ours. Very true. But I think she is full of the spirit mm. and the fruit of the spirit is helping her to do the right thing yeah and she's saying oh go glean there and the man sees her and she was a virtuous woman yes that's what they, they were saying about her in chapter four yes that she was i've heard that mm. You're a virtuous woman. Mm. I've heard how you've taken care of my your mother in law. Mm, your mother in law. Mm. And I've heard, maybe he said, I've heard how mm. you left mm. uh, your people. Mm. He must have observed consistency mm. in her. Mm. Remember that one time yes. he asked the laborers, Who is that girl? Yes. And they were telling him, See, she came with, with, she's the girl who came back with Naomi when she came back from Moab. Mm. And I think. 
all things apart from that everybody played their role well god was at the center the the center of this it's the epitome of the whole deal was that god was connecting everybody and removing whoever doesn't have to be real and at this point i'm reminded of something like boaz is a representation of jesus christ mm. the first relative who has no name says no i can't and then we see boaz coming in and saying mm. oh yes Okay, the first if you refuse I'm ready. Mm. And you know that that's what Jesus has done for us. Mm. We have fallen. The first Adam has no solution for mankind, but the second man, the second Adam, mm. Jesus Christ, who may look like he's a far relative from the, us, yes. has agreed to take all our shame, yes. has agreed to redeem us, yes. has said yes. I'll take them back even if they don't deserve it. Mm. Whether they are Gentiles, whether they are who, mm. whether they look weak, whether they were evil, whether mm. they were cursed, mm. he has said, I'll buy them I'll back. Pay the I'll, price. Pay, I'll pay every price that mm. needs to be paid mm. so that they can be called my own wow. and they can have a life, they can have security, wow. they can have a home. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Mm. And just incredible just to think what I'm hearing in all this is mm. that when you, when you have realized that you are in a, in a mess mm -hmm. as a woman mm. and you realize that you need to come back to the place of praise and worship and the place where God feeds you and nourishes you with mm. his wisdom mm. and he opens your eyes. Mm. What you're supposed to do is to get into action. Exactly. You need to stop wallowing. Mm -hmm. You need to stop the complaining. Mm -hmm. You need to stop looking back at that mess mm -hmm. because that mess is not going to define you. Start looking forward and start planning. We see Naomi mm -hmm. had a plan. Yeah, exactly. And she went through to execute that plan step after step. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is go back to the place of prayer mm -hmm. go back to the word of god mm -hmm. go back to worship and worship praise. the place of worship and just drawing from his wisdom and after you have drawn from there he is going to open your eyes to see things that you would have not seen while you in still in that place of pain and murmuring and wallowing and when he opens your eyes it's about time that you get into action exactly yeah and you have to be sober to understand what it is that god has created for you to walk into mm -hmm. and you need to have a plan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when you have that plan you need to not only have a plan which you look at but have a plan that you act on yeah the other thing that comes out so clear is, like we initially, in the last episode, we said, if God wants you to be a bridge, mm. you allow him. Mm. And the bridge doesn't follow people to see where they are going. Mm. All right? Mm. So Naomi has to push Ruth to her height to excel without having to think oh this should be me um but then she is just too old mm. you know there are times i'm looking even at our leadership and ourselves and our children and you wonder why we are not willing to mentor to grow to groom to lift to let them be mm. to allow them step on us and cross over oh. to become and that's what naomi has done she has allowed Ruth to be the person she needs to be. Why? Because she sees the future that belongs to her mm. being birthed through this girl. Mm. She finds out that her name, the family name, her husband's name, yes. can only be sustained through this girl. She is mentoring because mm. she's telling her everything that she needs to know to be able to sustain the the challenge mm. or the engagement mm. and that is why we need people who have open hearts who have either gone down to moab and have realized there is no solution in moab and even when they are coming back come back with some seed that you help them propel to heights even if it is from moab mm -hmm. and then realize that we need to train teach 
train a child in the way they should go. They may be grown up, but now they are under our mandate. Mm. And then we've trained, trained, trained mm. without relenting, without tiring, mm. until we realize, wow, this one is good for graduation. Mm -hmm. And when they are good for graduation, you tell them, you are about to graduate. You have done your research paper well. You have written your thesis well. Mm. You have done your thumb papers good. You have done your cuts and everything you mm. needed to do. If there was any practical umepita, so you've passed very well. And now the next thing is go to the bathroom, take a good shower, a hot one, come over. Put some good oil, some good ointment, some nice fragrance. fragrance. Mm. Put it on yourself and then dress up well. You're good for graduation. You're good for the next level. And then continue to mentor them and instruct them on what they're supposed to do. Look at what Ruth was told. After the man has eaten yes. and has drunk and is ready to go to bed, let you lie there at mm -hmm. his feet. Mm. You, how do you fall on the feet of a man? And it's like worship. Mm. It is like, you know, we are in, we are in Judah. Mm. We are in Bethlehem. Mm. Let them eat, be full. Let them enjoy the evening dinner. Let them do the drinking. Let mm. them receive the bread and the Holy Spirit. Mm. Let them be full. And then you're there worshiping. How would it be? It would be so brilliant. It would be so beautiful. The connection. The connections, the mm. breaking of chains, mm. you know, like mm. anointing breaks. And barriers. You know, breaks, yokes. Mm. And you're there smelling so nice in the presence of the Redeemer mm. and saying, here I am. I am Ruth. That, that's that Moabites who came back mm. with, you know, you're even trembling mm. and shaking because mm. you don't know what they are going to do mm. to you. You're in a foreign land, though you have a very good mother. You know, mm. there are all those fears. Mm. But all those fears were removed. They were crushed. Mm. They became a history. They became a past thing. And this girl became the girl who has tenacity that takes the throne. You remember that statement? Wow, wow. Yeah, she ends up there. Mm. She finds security yes. not just for herself mm. but also for the children for the... she will bring forth. You remember Obed, yes. the father of Jesse, yes. the grandfather of mm -hmm. David. The David. And that uh, is how now the Davidic covenant starts came into... to flow mm. and came into reality. Mm. After a woman has been broken, her hearts have been cut into pieces. Mm. She has gone through through so much even in a foreign land mm. that she is brought back to her place of life. She has been brought back to Eden, mm. the place where there is life 24-7. Mm. And this is what we need to remind every woman. Please stop complaining about mm. the failures that may have come. Mm. Stop dwelling on the failures of your husband. Mm. And so Every woman who has been challenged and find themselves in a corner place, mm. they must get out of there, get back to Bethlehem, eat bread, and then wake up to the call of praising God mm. and telling him, I know I'm in this thing, mm. but you'll get me out. It's you who is able to get me out. Then go to the bathroom, take a shower, mm. and make yourself up, dress up smartly, and start a new thing. Mm. Like we see Naomi helping this young girl. Why? Mm. Because she was growing old, mm -hmm. and she realized she doesn't have the energy to continue running mm. errands as she would have done earlier. Mm. And so we are being called also to mentoring. You mentor people. Mm. Like I, I was thinking, if you're from Western Kenya and you find yourself in the Eastern, mm. then your people are just looking at you and laughing at you mm. simply because you're not in a position, one, to understand their language, to understand their culture, to know who should be given what. But if training is done well, mm. like we see Naomi taking the responsibility of mentoring and training this girl mm. in the right way, because yes. some of these people will train you, but only on what benefits you, them Very rather, true. what mm. benefits them, so that they can keep having you being stepped on to, to make you look the bad one. But we see Naomi as a portrait 
of proper training, steadfast love, mm. patience, mm. and goodness. Yes. And uh, she's like full of the fruit of the spirit. Mm. Now after she's come back, she's loaded mm. with proper, proper training. And this has made things work out right. Mm. Why? Because when Obed was born mm -hmm. to Ruth and Boaz, yes. the Bible says that the women around there celebrated celebrated Naomi, mm. told her, oh, the girl, mm. oh, you, you have a grandchild. Mm. Now you have someone to continue the lineage, the lineage. of your husband. Mm. And they poured good words mm. and they started saying, may she be blessed. You know, they started yes. making the heart of Naomi light mm. up, light up so mm. strongly. Mm. And the praises that were showered on her, mm. I'm sure lengthened even her days. Mm. And she was able now to pick the baby and raise her, nurse her on her laps mm. until the baby must have felt warmth and love mm. from a grandmother mm. who is understanding. Mm. And so uh, we, it may have begun somewhere and then on the low. Yeah, or in the middle of the whole thing mm. became sour mm. and bad and mm. like, oh, is there any hope for Naomi really? Yes. But we see the ending is good. My brethren, I want to remind you, my sisters, my beloved, whoever you are, mother, sisters, daughter, or fiance, mm. and you're looking mm. at things and wondering where they will end. Mm. If you go back to Bethlehem, if you allow yourself to be full of praise in mm. Judah, mm. somehow, somewhere, the fragrance of heaven will flow like that water, that, that river that flows from the throne of God, will yes. come bringing healing and reconciliation and reconstruction. Mm. And you sooner or later, you'll find things are no longer as bad as the one. Mm. God told in, in go told the house of Judah when they were in Babylon in Jeremiah 29 11 mm. I know the plans that I have, have for, for you, you. Yes, yes. no plans for good not to harm you yes. but to give you an ending with yes, hope yes. and this is what we are telling you tonight mm. you may have been down in Moab mm. and maybe you have come back with some strange things mm. that you don't know how to deal with Yes. Come to the house of God, mm -hmm. eat bread and then worship God. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you the truth. God in his own beautiful way will make a way where there is no way. Mm -hmm. He will give you a message like he says in the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. You will hear a voice telling you this is the way. This Do the not way. turn to the left or to the right. Mm -hmm. But this is the way. He will focus you. It is the purposes and the work of men to make plans mm. but God is the one who, who perfects. perfects them and so for Naomi we see she may have had plans all through mm. especially with her husband and for the two children but God decided to come in through these other means mm. and bring us the savior mm. of the world mm. through Boaz Amen. and Ruth. Amen. Those objects, those vessels that may not look like they are when placed in the place of feeding on the bread of God and also in praise mold, they will be made vessels of honor. They will be cleansed by the cleansing of the water of God. Mm -hmm. And then they will be filled with the spirit of praise. Mm -hmm. And out of there, out of the abundance of the praises of God, will be life released. So my Amen. brethren, beloved of God, I want to remind you, you may have had a bad experience. Mm. God is not yet done with your situation. Oh, yes. He's still working mm. behind curtains, mm. behind scenes. He's mm. doing his thing to show you forth. You're a chosen generation called forth to present to the world the excellences of your maker. Amen. To make his name be praised. Amen. So may God help us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And... If I can sum it up, I can, I can sum it up. Everything that we have spoken since we began is that we can see that God works through our hardships. Mm -hmm. That we can become, we can, we, can, we can bring out the good even in, as we go through hardships. Yes. That God redeems mm -hmm. time. Yes. He redeems everything that is lost mm. and therefore do not lose hope. It doesn't matter which situation that you are in. 
just go back to that place of bread and just place of worship and allow God to feed you with his wisdom and open your eyes to different ways and different opportunities and don't forget to seize the moment and get into action. Thank you so much for tuning in and being a good company throughout this show. Until next time, seize the moment.